is cool. But that's still like pretty good. <laughs> There's Conan walking on the rocks. <laughs> then up that way, right there is Shepherd's Pass. Here we are, working our way up Shepherd's Pass. Just a little bit more to go. Shepherd's Pass. Right there is Polonium Peak. Polonium. I think that's the right way. There's Conan. Getting out of his telly gear. I think this was the most difficult pass that we have to do on this whole trip, probably. Scary Snow Bridge. Start of day three. <laughs> now it's going to split on Conan. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It looks a lot steeper from this vantage point than it did skiing down it. <laughs> Here we are on the climb up to Milestone Pass. It's up there somewhere. Big brutal slog in the hot sun. <clears throat> but can't complain about the view. We can even still see Shepherd's Pass way over there, which we skied in on. It looks so close, but it's so far away. <laughs> Made it a few feet down from Milestone Pass right there. There are the guys hooking up. We're gonna ski down to our camp. Top of Compromise Pass. And this is the best part is looking back at everything you've done rather than looking at everything to go. You can see like Table Mountain Pass out there, Whale Pass. Shepherd's Pass. So that right there is Coppermine Peak. So you went through that and then traversed underneath this entire thing. We were able to ski up until those rocks there. Slapped on the skins for just a little bit. And now we're at Horn Pass. Okay, so last day of the Sierra High route. All we have to do is ski like 2,000 feet down to the car tomorrow, and it is storming. There are the guys with their tent. Just got it up. Here's me and my riggedy ass old first light. Yeah, that's really something. It's May 5th. <laughs> well, this week on Stormwatch. I'm your host, Ryan Tilly, and I am in my little green tent right now. And let's just see where the snow's at. Well, that seems a decent little bowl of snow. A bunch of snow here, snow there, snow on the wall, little hole right there. For some reason, this wall has like no snow on it. Blizzard watch. A little chilly. <laughs> um, yeah, just me in here. Day six. Ski traverse. Whatever. And um, just waiting until tomorrow to get back to the cars. And the storm should be over by then. So that's why it looks so bad right now. <laughs> Eating some pop tarts. Tortillas. Probably not gonna make my 
freeze-dried meal tonight because that would require going outside. So I'm not going to do that. All right. Update video number two. The storm has more or less eased off. It's about 8 o'clock now. So it's been ooh, two hours or more since my last uh, video. This side of the tent drilling in on me. I have no foot space, so I'm just like in a little cuddly ball. And this wall just keeps getting bigger because there's nowhere for the snow to go. But my tent's still together. I think the most uh, intense part is over. And so now it's just little showers until it stops. Whoa, look at that. The man-sized marmots emerge from their little <laughs> hole. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be spring, not winter still. Here's my pathetic tent. I had to crawl out. It's actually like a foot down where the, the floor of the tent is. I even have cornices on one side.